<laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, the Cast Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, we got here to Sage's spot, and I'm gonna turn my main audio down just a tad, just a tad, tad, tad bit. There we go. So, in the last episode, we got here to Sage's spot. And we found out that we can't actually go up here unless we defeat the, um, un until we defeat Famine. And it looks like that we're going to be seeing some battles on the way down. So, yeah. So, I'm actually going to fall down that way. Because we got two other people to fight. And uh, we are going to do ourselves a very quick team recap. Uh, so, if you guys enjoy, if you guys enjoy the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and watch my other videos. They're very similar to this one, but you know, I love you all. <laughs> First, we got Gary or Slugma. Um, level 29, holding the Brain Link with Yon, Ember, Rock Throw, and Harden. Next, we got Maya, our Gyarados, level 32, with Splash, Tackle, Bite, and Surf. We got Dega, our Mystery Egg. Oh, wait. Maya's also holding the Gamblefish. Dega, our Mystery Egg, level 23, with Harden, Leech Life, Tackle, and Egg Bomb. And we have Poic, our starter, the Ball Toy, level 33, holding the Demon Horn. With Psybeam, Harden, Rapid Spin, Ancient Power, and last but not least, Seppuku, a level 35 Nuzleaf, holding the leftovers with Bide, Faint Attack, Cut, and Fake Out. And we don't talk about Zigzagoon. Wait a minute. Right, he has Rock Smash. I was like, did he just, did I just saw that he was part fighting? But no, that's because of the Rock Smash. So, we are making our way down the mountain. And apparently, um, they won't let us enter the monastery until we defeat Famine. And we got ourselves a Baldoy. He has ancient power. Whoa. Oh, of course you get the attack and defense boost and speed. Actually, you get the everything boosted. Fun times. Wish I could do that. Wow. Mm. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Sorry, Glass. Uh, I'm gonna switch out to Maya because a Surf should be able to take you out. Should. Should take him out. <laughs> you just gonna, sp Maya? Thank you. I was gonna invite Maya. Don't die on me. Baltoy goes down. Good bye. Good night. Another Baltoy. We'll stay in. Baltoy should go down. It seems like that these sages always seem to use Baltoy. So. Oh ho 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 ho. Alright, uh, I'm gonna heal up Maya. We also picked up, uh, Blizzard on the way here. Uh, so, that's exciting. Put Maya in the lead and fight you. I see, I see. You wish to battle me. I do, because I have a very, very, very difficult fight coming up. So, yes. I need to fight you. <sighs> the fact that I got Maya, that I have a Gyarados with Intimidate makes me so happy. Especially now with the fight with Famine coming up. That that Intimidate drop would be will be extremely useful. Like really, really useful. I need... I wanted to get recording so fast this morning, I forgot to turn off the ringtone on my phone. Oh, 
So I apologize for that one. A Metatite. Interesting. Uh, let's do another Surf. Surf should be able to do a nice bit of damage. Oh, <laughs> nice bit of damage. Almost killed. Awesome. All right. Your calm minding. I should be able to just. I was gonna say I should be able to tackle you to kill you, but you decided to use detect. It was fun. <laughs> it's funny because uh, me and a buddy of mine, we um, do the battle tree in Pokemon Sun and Moon all the, almost every weekend, and like we do the multi, the, the super multi battles, and. <laughs> We got to a point, we got to a conversation, the Route 112, what's over this way? The Shakya Monastery. Hold the phone. Oh, I remember why the monastery sounds so familiar. Okay, story time. I'm gonna finish my first story first. Uh, we were talking about how there was a, a there was a Pokemon that used uh, detect in the battle tr in the battle tree, and we were like, "What's the point of detect? It's the exact same thing as protect." And we were just like, "Yeah, they're not wrong because detect is literally the fighting version of protect, which is a normal type, which literally everyone else, which everyone knows." So I'm just like, "Hmm, interesting." Anyway. Story with regards to this video. So, this monastery, I've been here before, off camera, not by choice. Last, see, the way I record my videos, I record videos a week in advance. So as you're, so when, so you're watching this video. Well, this video is actually fr uh, Friday's video for this week. Normally, my recordings are a week, a whole week before. So, I'll give you guys an example. Today is the 27th of August. Technically, this video is, supposed to be, is going up on September 1st. But I'm also going to be recording the following week. The 4th, the 6th, and the 8th. Um, last weekend... I was recording this very same episode, and my computer crashed. That's why this place is now familiar to me. I... Now, from what I do remember of this place... Um, basically, they won't let me do anything unless... I don't think they g I don't think they g gave... I don't think they give me anything. Go forth to Desert Store if I'm Master Zora, brother Izumi is currently attacking. Um, yeah, I don't think these guys actually give me anything. Um, yeah. These guys have the four tree music. I love four trees music. Then again, I just love the music of Gen 3 to, to begin with. But yeah. I was like, right! This place. This place is a shop in which I can get energy roots. Um, can I sell anything? Super Potions does me by 50. Um, you know what? I have Super Potions, which is basically the same thing as these energy powders. I'm gonna get some energy roots. Because it's not like I'm... Uh, I'm going to buy 10 of them. Because it's not like I'm... Bitter... Uh, heals all status problems. I would love to have some of these. Probably another 10 of them. Uh, revise the Fainted Pokemon. I will take a couple of these. In case a battle gets too difficult. Like the chefs I gotta fight. Alright. But yeah, I was in the middle of recording this video, and I was so close to ending the video. I was like 15, 20 minutes in, and I was just getting ready to end it. And my computer decided to crash, forcing me to lose all the footage from that episode. 
So you can tell I wasn't all that pleased. Um, right. Unworthy, get out, get out. Okay, right. I can't get in there. Probably after I defeat Famine, more than likely. Um... I don't think I talked to you last time. What's this? The Monastery Guest House. Um... You may res- Oh! Why put a place- Why put a place here when there's literally a Pokemon Center just to the- like, just up to the northwest of here? Um, yeah, so I ended up losing all the footage and while- <laughs> Like I said, my computer blue screened on me. And forcing me to lose out on all of my footage for that episode. I'm hoping it doesn't happen again, since I have to record, since I have to bulk record for seven videos uh, today. Because I'm going out, because uh, I'm going out of town. The uh, I should be going out of town the day that you're seeing this video, actually. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, because I remember seeing her, and I'm like, how do I get up there? But that's why. That's what happened. Ended up losing all of my footage from that episode. I was livid. I was so livid, in fact, I was like, I can't record again. I can't record this video again. And that was last weekend. Because I also remember this. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't want to get back in there again. Actually, there's grass here. What Pokemon can you see here, I wonder? Why is there home bone literally in every route? <sighs> Alright, you know what? Screw that. Either which way, we can't do anything until we go and fight... I think you're a trainer? No, in case we're attacked. Um... Right, so we can't do anything until we defeat Famine. Which we're gonna- we're gonna try. 12 minutes in. We're gonna try. I'm not particularly- well, come on. Um, the one- <laughs> the one square. Um, yeah. I'm not looking forward to this. I really- I really am not. Because I hate fighting the skilled chefs. I'm gonna save. Because in the words of the King Nappy, only you can prevent lost save data. <laughs> okay, who do I got in the lead? May I believe? Yeah. She's definitely gonna be the one that's probably gonna be putting in the most work. Oh, It's one thing fighting, fighting the regular chefs with the Munchlaxes. These are the skilled ones, so they have Snorlax. Okay. Store it. Sandstorm is raging. Then we get the Intimidate drop, which is nice. You know what I could do? I could potentially just back and forth uh, Maya and probably like, I don't know, Seppuku or something. You have Brick Break. That's not going to do much. The biggest problem I have with the, these Snorlaxes is the fact that um, is the is the sole fact that they have rest, which he's probably gonna do right now. Mayo with the crit. With that, oh no, he's probably gonna use a gato. I think they normally have like two. If I remember correctly, they mo they mostly have two. Yeah, here's the gato. Here's gato number one. Unless you save them for each of your mons. Either which way, as long as I keep using Surf and I think I got PP healing berries. I'll have to double check. I think I do. Um, yes, I do. I got four Lepa berries. Yeah, because past Orin. Yeah, so... I got 12 sur or 11 surfs left. This should be able to get me. Body slam. Here it is. There's the paralyze. 
So, okay. I have two options. More than likely, he's probably going to rest. You know what? I'm going to heal the paralysis. I'm not. I'm not going to stay on that. Let's get myself on the cherry berry. He's probably going to rest right now. No body slam. Don't paralyze me again. Um. I'm going to heal. Because I don't... Let's use one of the energy roots that I bought. I have a feeling he's going to rest. No. This is really... Oh, frick, come on. Come on. Don't paralyze me again. Okay, I think he's down to the point that he might actually... Oh, you son of a bitch. I was hoping I was going to be faster. I was hoping I was going to be faster so that I would take him out. On the plus side, I have three turns to... Now, these guys also have sleep talk. So they technically can still... Um, he can still use body slam on me. Um, let's use one of the three paralyzed heals that I have. Fast asleep, good. Don't use sleep talk, thank you. That's what, turn two. So you're gonna wake up at the end, you're gonna wake up after after this next turn. Okay. And don't you dare use body slam. Don't use body slam, don't you, f thank you. Because I'm faster than the Snorlax. He wakes up. He wakes up, he might use rest again. Let's surf. Woke up. Body slam. Oh, I was I was like, well, what are the chances that he's gonna use rest when he wakes up? But nope. Okay. This is good. This is very good. Now I can't mess this up. Uh, let's go. You have another Gato. You have two Gatos. Cool. <sighs> Rinse and repeat, I guess. <sighs> okay. Uh, I need to heal myself up. Let's use one of the super potions. Unless he's using Body Slam again, which he's using... Rest? Immediately after using a Gateau, he uses Rest. Okay. I mean... Sure. Go right ahead. It gives me more opportunity to get you really down to really low really quick. And does the sound... Re does the word really sound really... Really weird right now. <laughs> Don't mind me. I've been. I I haven't been up all that long. Now, the sandstorm is going to keep raging on because we're in a constant sandstorm. That's fine. We're at the point now where he may rest again after he wakes up this turn. Or may I guess the crit? <laughs> Maya, fucking love you. Now we got ourselves a Gardevoir. Gardevoir being psychic type. Um, Sapuku does have faint attack. How much damage that will do to her Gardevoir, I don't know. We'll see. Man, Maya got the crit. That was amazing. Okay, level 30 Gardevoir. I'm five levels above it. Let's see how much this is going to do. Sandstorm means nothing to me because I got the leftovers. Uh, let's go with a faint attack. This should be 
Super effective stab. Over half. Man, I love this team. I really, really do love this team now. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. And, and we're just clearing up at the end of the episode, too. So what a way to end off the episode was defeat one of the two chefs that are here. So, ooh, Gary grew up level 30. Very nice. Ooh, Sapuku grew to level 36. Uh, and the chef is now back to normal. What, what, what happened? Alrighty. With that, everyone, we're going to end things off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris again. I did it in the last episode, too. I did my point early. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.